Load balancing versus clustering. Load balancing and clustering are two methods used in computing to distribute workloads, although they serve different purposes and act in different ways. In practice, load balancing and clustering are frequently employed together. A load balancer, for example, may spread incoming requests across a server cluster. This combination provides for both effective request distribution, load balancing, and the greater stability and fault tolerance given by having numerous servers operating together as a single system, clustering. Load balancing. Load balancing is a mechanism for distributing network traffic over a set of backend servers, commonly referred to as a server farm or server pool. The purpose of load balancing is to maximize resource consumption, increase performance, and maintain high availability. Load balancers operate as traffic cops, efficiently spreading client requests or network traffic among numerous servers. If a single server fails, the load balancer routes traffic to the remaining online servers. Load balancing might be easier to implement in established setups with many types of servers. Load balancers can operate independently of the destination servers, consuming fewer resources. Clustering Clustering, on the other hand, is a strategy for grouping a collection of objects so that objects in the same group, a cluster, are more similar to one another than to those in other groups. Clustering is the process of combining numerous servers so that they can function as a single unit. Server clusters typically require identical hardware to work. Clustering improves scalability, dependability, and fault tolerance. Because the state is kept inside the cluster, if a server in a cluster fails, the user may be able to complete their transaction. Are load balancing versus clustering. While both strategies strive to increase scalability and availability, they have significant distinctions. Load balancing does not require shared storage among load balanced servers or resources, but clustering frequently necessitates shared storage or databases among clustered nodes. Load balancing operates at the network or application layer to distribute incoming network traffic evenly across various servers or resources. Clustering, on the other hand, operates at the system level, bringing together several servers or resources to function as one unit. 1. Load balancing evenly distributes incoming network traffic over many different servers or resources, whereas clustering groups multiple servers or resources to work as a single entity. 2. The purpose of load balancing is to maximize resource consumption, increase performance, and assure high availability. Clustering, on the other hand, aims to improve scalability, dependability, and fault tolerance. 3. Load balancing enables horizontal scalability by adding more servers or resources to manage increased demand. Clustering provides vertical scalability by combining more powerful servers or resources to meet rising demand. 4. Load balancing checks server or resource health and can automatically redirect traffic away from failing or overloaded components. Clustering keeps track of the health of each node in the cluster and can redistribute workloads if one fails or becomes unresponsive. 5. Load balancing operates at the network or application layer, directing traffic using various methods, round-robin, least connections, etc. Clustering operates at the system level, treating the cluster as a unified entity with a single entry point. 6. Load balancing is appropriate for contexts with high traffic, web applications, and distributed systems. Clustering is ideal for applications that require high availability, fault tolerance, and better performance. 7. Load balancing does not necessitate shared storage between the load balanced servers or resources. Clustering frequently necessitates shared storage or databases amongst the clustered nodes. 8. Load balancing can be accomplished using either hardware load balancers or software-based load balancing algorithms. Clustering is often implemented using clustering software or middleware to manage the cluster.